I am Vicky Probst, the director of the European Film Market in Berlin, the so-called AFM. And I have been there for quite a while, not to be precise. And this is my colleague, Villanschbeck, who runs the panorama. And uh, as we were saying before, uh, because we both have been quite some time active in that Berlinale, in a way we, we represent the memory because, you know, we are working both with a lot of younger people who do not know the past of the festival. So that's, uh, I don't want to say that we are preserving the memory. Our role goes beyond that, I hope. Yeah, because we're active and, and we're yes. doing the things, so we're exactly. not the retrospective which exactly. we have in Berlin, of course. Um, and, and that takes care of the memory, of the filmic memory, um, as well as the Queer Academy, which we're also developing, that uh, goes for the queer film world. Yes. That, that's memory that is needed for the next generation to work with film, with the knowledge of the past. But at the same time, of course, what we're doing is we have new films. So yeah. I bring in uh, the best I can find from all over the world for um, the market as well as for the audience. So the audience is more than 100,000 people just come to Panorama and uh, half of those are people that also visit the film market that you are heading and uh, I hope that the audience will carry the films in a way that the professionals from your side will take on and give those films a life after the festival. This is what we're basically doing, trying to get the big city audience of Europe to support okay. difficult films often enough uh, with the market people and, and they will be more daring and jumping on it uh, as if they would like in other festivals that don't have a city audience to support the films that we show. That's the nice mixture we have in Berlin because you have in the audience together in one side the professionals and in the other side the public and I can tell you the Londons, of course you know that that you know for the professionals to be in an audience where there is that mixture of the public is extremely important because when the professionals they sit together they tend to have all the same reaction whether they walk out of the film because they don't like it one after the other and whether if one laughs and has a good time the other one already runs out to make the contract while they are sitting with the public and they see really the real reaction you know because at the end of the day why do they make films mm. they make films for the public mm. Of course we know also the effect that the festival audience is not exactly the same as yeah. an audience uh, during the year. Yeah. But uh, uh, that is an effect in Berlin that you can detect quite precisely because the audience in general is very critical in Berlin and uh, does not uh, go for everything that you yeah. show necessarily, especially they're very sensitive about uh, emotional blackmail like, when it comes to music and stuff like that. You know, so you have to like find political themes easily. That's that's an easy thing that we can do. Berlin is a political city uh, as such, just because of world history it was banging that city from wall to wall for quite a while. Uh, and, and that is an asset uh, that I value very highly to work for that kind of audience and to get them again and again every year with films that are challenging and meaningful. Right. Um, I remember when I started, and I was very young, it was many years ago, there was a festival and the films that were in the festival comprised the market. And I think you were there then art films and those go on to win Academy Awards like Separation, hopefully a child's pose. But now the other buyers and sellers who are buying more um, commercial, you could say, or even exploitative films are also there. 
So now there are three markets, the European film market, the American film market, and the Cannes Marche. Could you compare, I mean, I see it as Berlin is a jewel because it always started with art, and it's still, the market is still held in an art museum of all things. And then there are the outlying hotels where the other sellers and buyers are. Could you somehow compare how the market stacks up, I don't mean better or worse, but how it differs from EFM, AFM and CAN? Well, we are, uh, all three that you mentioned, we are in a way different. The big difference first is here in the American film market, you don't have a festival, it's just a market. Now, if you take CAN, the American film, fest, fil, film market and Berlin as a market, you can say this, I would say. Mm -hmm. First, already nature is different. We don't have palm trees, we don't have the ocean, we don't have the beach. So Berlin is a place in February, it's cold. You like to go to the cinema because it's nice and warm and you watch films. So I would say it's a working festival. People, you know, don't have many choices. They go and see films. On the other hand, I would also pretend that in Berlin, because we have those two tendencies, in one way you have the art films, and on the other way you have the films that are more, let's say, so-called mainstream, you still have, with a small film, a place in the sun. The sun doesn't shine, but you have a place in the sun. That means you get an attention. What is very important in the market is also to get an attention from the professionals. I know that the press is not admitted, but you know still some producers, they want to have the press, so if the producer is agreeing, they can go and see a market film. So this is a different kind of operation. My colleagues in Cannes and the IFM, we are colleagues and we work together very good, but we do different things. Well, I mean, it, it, it comes from the start of the European film market, which was developed by the programmers for their films. So that is a market that grew out of the the, the idea of the program is that we have to do more for the films that we show than just show them in the festival. So that is the only market that has the development and the, and the birth from, from, from the programmer side. So you still feel that even though the market now has acquired a size that of course caters much more than the festival films. But uh, the companies that are coming are basically the companies that also bring in the quality films that we use in the festival. So you always have this like quality stamp also still being effective on the market. Yeah, because the market actually, and I always repeat that phrase, the market and the festival with all the sections is in a total symbiosis, mm. you know? We, pro we take advantage from each other, mm. you know? That's right. Um, and rolling again, so please continue. So we had spoken earlier about the dock corner as part of the market. Could you explain more about um, Panorama's role within the larger festival and also how documentaries feed into it? Because it's a new development for the market that Becky has developed with the dock corner. Well, the doc films have, of course, a long history also in the market, but um, uh, programming-wise, from, from day one, uh, they had a strong hold in the form of Young Cinema that was founded in 1971 as a counter-festival to the competition back then. Mm -hmm. And uh, Panorama was basically founded as a counter-program to that in 1980. And uh, both programs always uh, had an eye out on documentaries because Berlin audience wants, uh, some, wants something to chew on, and documentaries often give that in, in, a, in, a, in a very direct way. Uh, so documentaries make today a third of my program. Panorama shows like about 50 films and a third are documentaries. And uh, that also has become an important thing for the marketplace. I um, changed the programming in the 90s when documentaries started to be more interesting also for the audience. The audience realized in Europe 
that television had developed to a shorter and shorter and shorter mm. form of, of documentation. We had the very strong television that is uh, content driven at that time. But nevertheless, uh, the information became shorter and shorter and more yeah. populistic. Of course. And uh, so the, the cinema took the chance to come up with a cinematic form for documentaries and uh, be successful in the theaters up, up to like uh, um, main time, like eight o'clock in the evening time of slots in the cinemas with mm. documentaries. Uh, so that was a new development and I called it uh, Panorama Documente in my program. So every day at five o'clock you could have the, the premiere of the day of a documentary. Five o'clock was good because in the evening the, the, the competition of, of uh, fiction films is very strong and earlier in the day the market people will be busy in the market right. so we, we took that kind of slot that has developed I can say in, in a way that it uh, became very successful. And uh, Becky how did you come to create a market around documentaries? <laughs> Well, you know, as um, I said before, and Vilan mentioned also, you know, in Berlin, you do have a lot of documentaries in the different sections. And uh, this lady in the Jerusalem Film Festival made me attentive that it would be good, you know, to have a place where people who are involved with documentaries, filmmakers, distributors, world sales, that they have a place to meet, not to create a documentary film festival because they are very prestigious yes. ones, we, we don't need another festival. It was just to give them a showcase, a place where they meet, and this was, was very well received. So we are now in touch with Leipzig. We will have them also in our program this year. Les, the, the festival, the documentary film Les Visions du Réel from Lyon. So what we are doing is creating just a, a strong point for documentaries to attract the attention there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Um, what about this year? Are there any new innovations you're going to start or uh, develop more? Like I noticed last year you had an introduction to the market. Yes. And uh, last year we had an introduction that was for the newcomers, you know, and we are going to repeat this experience. We, I don't know if we will change the formula, how it's going to be done, but this is going to be done because we had very good um, echoes of that. You know, except when someone comes and says to you as a newcomer, how do I find money to make my film? That was not the idea of that session. The session was, if you come and you don't know how you to find your way, where do I get tickets, which uh, projections can I go with my badge? But you know, people who come and ask for financing of their films the first day, it's a tough question. <laughs> I remember that question. Yeah. going to have uh, changes this year that are structural changes mm -hmm. um, because the festival is going back to the Zopalast. That's the That was for many, many years the main theater of our festival and uh, the market will be using theaters in the Zopalast. There are new theaters built, brand new. And the old Zopalast is also uh, uh, renewed um, and uh, will have uh, still over 80, uh, 800 seats. Mm -hmm. So it only shrank a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Panorama Special will go back there. And uh, the Generation section will, will going back there. Will be going back there. So, so we're going to have like a shift again uh, towards the west of Berlin. Uh, which is uh, new and exciting because the West is waking up after many, many years of the East being fostered and pampered and used by us a lot with all the theaters. So I think this is going to be the, the, the nice thing that we're going to face. Yeah, and it, I think it's going to wake up some memories of people, you know, when people were in the West and, I mean, of course, the Delphi is still there. And they are all raving about, you know, that hotel, the Savoy. They love the Savoy. It's going to be, you know, a little bit back to the past. In that back to the past in a new way. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. oh, great. I love that. Yeah. Thank you. I think.
if you have nothing else to say, we can wrap it up. Perfect. <laughs> That's so great.